minutes and welcome to fitness for summer 2020 21st century programming. This is AJ. He just graduated kindergarten. He's now a first grader. Yeah, AJ. Hi. All right. So you're going to see him in the beginning of every single video before the lesson. He's going to be in there to show the importance of stretching and drinking water. Because you guys may be outside or you can do this inside and I'm going to you guys passing out. So it's important to know when you guys are sick, don't feel well, tired, or just need a break. It's important to go take a rest when you need to. Okay? So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start doing stretches. Ready, AJ? Alright, me and AJ are going to help you guys show how to do the stretches and some of them AJ's going to do by himself. The first one we're going to do is what AJ's doing right now. It's a right arm stretch. We're going to do that for 10 seconds. Ready, AJ? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, AJ. Now we're going to go to the left arm stretch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, AJ. Now we're going to do arm circles. If you're doing this with somebody, make sure you give them enough room so you can both do it at the same time. Ready, Ready AJ? We're going to do this for 10 seconds. We're going to go frontwards first. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, buddy. <laughs> now we're going to go backwards. All right, guys? AJ went backwards there, but now he's going to go frontwards. We're going to go frontwards. Okay, I'll do backwards. Ready? Okay, we're going to do this for 10 seconds. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to do leg stretches. Yes, this is backward. This is front. Yep, show you guys a great skill to know. Ready? As you can see, AJ's taking a break now. So it's hot out here. Again, it's important to know when you need to break or need water. If you need that at any point, take your time and rest. And you come back to the day. Ready, AJ? Now we're going to do leg stretches. Put your legs together, and you go down for 10 seconds. Ready, AJ? Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we're going to spread our legs apart. After AJ takes no quick breath, right side for about 10 seconds. Ready, AJ? Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten. Now we're going to go down to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go down the middle after AJ gets a little break. Again, it's important to take breaks. It's really hot up here, you guys. Ready, AJ? Okay, we go down the middle. Ready, buddy? Here we go. Down the middle. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Another little break. We've been out here for a while. Remember, guys, get water and air we need. Alright. Now, these next set of stretches, AJ's going to do all by himself. Okay, so what we're going to do is you can get on the ground. Ground AJ. Spread your legs. You need to go to the right side first. Ready, AJ? Yeah. Go. One.
for about 10 seconds. Ready, AJ? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. As you can see, AJ's a little tired and sweaty, so he's going to take a little break, which is important to do, you guys. Next thing you guys are going to do is they're going to be called liners. You're going to run essentially. You're going to choose two, three different spots. You're going to choose a starting point, a middle point, and then an end point. What you're going to do is you're going to run to the middle point, which should be right here, and you're going to run back. And once you reach over here, you're going to go to the end point, stop over here, and then you're going to run back. You can do this about three or five times, depending on what you guys are going to do. AJ here is going to do it three times for the sake of the video not being too long. Ready, AJ? Go. One. That's two. One more. That's three. Good job, okay. Right, guys. Hope you guys are warmed up for the start of the lesson. Again, you're going to see that at the beginning of every single video. It may not be the same video that it's two, but you're going to see at the beginning of every single lesson. It's because that's important to know that you guys need to stretch and need to take breaks before you actually start the lesson. Make sure you guys are drinking water the entire time. Make sure you guys are warmed up and ready to go. But you guys, if you do not stretch, you may pull a muscle or something like that once we start the lesson, once you guys are running. Again, if you guys need, make sure your parents are watching you outside. Or again, if you're tired, if you need to sit, you need a rest, go inside, go to your parents, have them help you. Make sure again you guys drink plenty of water if you're doing this outside. At least in Texas, because in Texas it's really hot and humid out here. Alright, we're gonna start the lesson, okay? Alright guys, uh welcome to lesson seven, I believe. And it's just gonna be a continuation of what we did last time on the last lesson. So uh we finished two, which were the planks and the the side crunch push-ups. So we have two more to do, which are gonna be the sit-ups and the standing bicycle crunches. But we're also gonna uh, get another sheet of paper. Maybe you still have leftovers. We're gonna fold it again, like we did last time. And we're gonna add two more things. So we're gonna make two cuts. One, two. And now we are going to add a push-up so this is how I wrote mine I give you time to uh, finish writing yours and we are going to add a still push-up and I'll show you guys what that is when we uh, film uh, when we uh, actually do that exercise So still push up. All right. So remember for now, only for now, we're gonna go through, uh, get your numbers. You should have uh, one through five, fold them, scram them a little bit. And we're gonna get our exercises that we have. We added two more, which are gonna be still push-ups and a push-up. <laughs> and we should have the other two, which are gonna be the sit-ups that we didn't do from last time. We're gonna fold it up. And the standing bicycle crunches that we didn't finish from last time. So we're gonna fold this one up as well. We're gonna fold them up. We're gonna scramble these. And now I'm going to choose one randomly, and that's the one we're going to do. And then, uh, of course, after the video, after we've uh, done all the exercises, you guys can go on yourself and uh, keep doing it. Until you guys uh, get tired, remember to uh, drink plenty of water when you're doing it. I'm going to go ahead and choose my random exercise. It's going to be the push-up. Okay? So that's the exercise we're going to do. And now we're going to get the number. The first number that we choose is going to need the amount of sets that we're going to do. I'm going to choose randomly. 
one. So one set. And now we're gonna choose random number. And this is gonna be the amount of times that we do it in each set, which is only one. Four. So we're gonna do four push-ups in one set for the first exercise of this time, okay? All right, guys, so we chose push-up and we chose one set four times, okay? So now we're gonna do a push-up. Spread up our legs, bring them together, keep your arms spread. One, two, three, four. So that was one set four times. Uh, again, once you finish the exercise, once you finish all of the different exercises, you guys can keep on going on and keep on choosing higher numbers, keep going. You can set a goal, maybe uh, 50 points and each number that you guys do, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna choose the next random exercise. It's going to be sit-ups, cool. Now we're gonna choose a number randomly. One set of two. Okay guys, so we chose sit-ups, we chose one set twice. Oh, it's a small number, I'm just showing you guys how to do it. And again, you guys can keep on going yourselves. So when you're gonna do a sit-up, uh, I'm using the hard floor. If you guys want, it can be a little bit painful. So you guys can add like a mat, maybe add a blanket, maybe add a couple of pillows, anything like that that's gonna help your back, okay? I know uh, the hard floor is gonna hurt. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys for the purpose of the video, but again, you guys can add a blanket, anything like that, an exercise mat, anything like that, okay? We get down. You're gonna lay flat. It's up to you guys how you guys do the sit-up. You guys can keep your arms crossed. You can put them behind your head or you can put them on the side of you. But when you put them on the side of you, when you go up, make sure you don't lift your arms, you have to stay down. So we're gonna do it twice, okay? And uh, make sure your feet never come off the ground specifically your heels. So we're gonna go, so one, two. Okay, now we're gonna choose a new exercise. We have two left. Let's randomly choose one. You get to make sure you have your numbers. I believe I have, yep, okay. Randomly choose one. It's going to be the standing bicycle crunches. And we're gonna choose a number. One, set. Four times. Okay, so we're gonna start doing that one. All right guys, so we chose standing bicycle crunches. We chose one set four times. So that means we're gonna do four times on each side. So a standing bicycle crunch, we're gonna put our hands behind our head. Like if you're doing a push up on the ground, and we're gonna pick up our left leg to our right arm four times. So one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do our right leg to our left arm. One, two, three, four. For you older guys, you guys can choose higher numbers. You can go past five for all of these exercises. For you younger guys, just keep it low unless you can go more. All right. Okay, so we have one exercise left. I'm not, I don't have to randomly choose it. It's gonna be a still push up. I'll show you guys what to do right now. We're gonna put all our exercises together. I have them all mixed up over here. And for the still push up, we're gonna choose a number one through five. One set. And we do it for four, four seconds, okay? So I'll show you guys how to do this one, what I mean by it. This will be our last exercise of this lesson. All right, so we chose still push-up. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by still push-up. It was one set for four seconds. So what I mean is when you get push-up form, we're gonna go down and we're gonna hold it for four seconds. So one, two, three, four, then go up. So for y'all that are in older grades, of course you can go higher numbers and do it at your own pace. You don't have to if you can't. If you can, great, do higher numbers. Again, set a goal for yourself, maybe 
20, each number represents a point, go up to 20 points, etc. All right, guys, we're done with that lesson. Uh, so remember to go at your own pace with these. You guys can, you don't have to follow the video. I'm just showing you how to do it, what I want you guys to do. And you guys can go above and beyond and keep going with the higher numbers and whatnot, okay? But uh, remember to keep these papers for our next lesson, which is lesson eight, I believe, because we'll be playing a game with all these numbers, okay? So see you guys next time.